Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Friday. This week, I have a special request from one of our users to talk about an SEO checklist for new sites that aren't ranking yet. So I've created a new website. I wanna make sure that I'm doing all the right things in the right order, that I've got everything set up, and my website's not yet ranking. Well, what are the things that I should be doing and maybe some things that I shouldn't be doing? And so I wanted to create a brief checklist with this Whiteboard Friday. If we find this useful, maybe we'll expand it, do even more stuff with it in the future. So let's, let's run through. You've got a new site that you've just launched. You're setting things up for success. What do you need to worry about? First off, accessibility. What I mean by this is users and search engines both need to be able to reach all of the pages, all the content that you've created on your website in easy ways. And you need to make sure you don't have any sort of dumb mistakes that can, that can harm your SEO. So these are things like 404s and 500 errors and 302s instead of 301s, duplicate content, missing title tags, thin content where there's not much material on the page for the search engines to grab onto, maybe for users as well. Two tools that are great for this. So first off, Google Webmaster Tools, which is completely free. Uh, you can register at google.com slash webmasters. And uh, the SEO Moz call, crawl through the SEO Moz Pro web app, also very useful uh, when you're looking at a new site. And we, we sort of built a bunch of, bunch of features in there that we wish Google Webmaster Tools kept track of, but they don't. And so some of those features are uh, included in the SEO Moz crawl, including things like uh, 302s, for example, um, some thin content stuff. So that can, be, that can be quite helpful. Next up, keyword targeting. So this, right, this, I mean, this makes some sense that you have to choose the right keywords to target. So what I want to have is, you know, if gobbledyzook, pro pro probably an awful keyword for anyone to be targeting, no search volume, just bad choice in general. But, right, we want to be looking at, do, do these have good search volume, right? Are, are some users actually searching for them? You might not be able to target high value terms because you're also looking for low difficulty when you're first launching a site, right? You, you don't want to necessarily shoot for the moon. Maybe you do on your home page or you know, some branded page, some, some product page. But for the things that you know you want to target and you want to work on early, uh, short term, right? maybe some content that you've got, some of those uh, feature pages for the product or service you're offering, and you think to yourself, you know, I, I'm not going to be able to target you know, gobbledy, which is, oh, that's really tough. But maybe gobbledy zook, you know, that'll, that'll, that'll be easier. Uh, and so you could look at search volume, the relevance to the website, please, by all means, make sure that you have something that's relevant that's actually pulling in searches you care about, and low difficulty. If you've got that taken care of, you've got your keyword targeting. Content quality and value. If you have a bunch of users coming to this page, and they're thinking to themselves, I, I, this doesn't really answer my query, or yeah, maybe this answers one portion of it, but I wish there was more detail here, more video, more images, maybe, maybe a nice graphic that explains some things, a data set, some references to where they got this information, uh, you know, not just a bunch of blocks of text. Maybe I'm looking for something that describes